Okay guys, I'm here with Richard Bowling and it is mm, just a little bit past mid-August now. We had a great day of crappie fishing and I was just sitting here talking with him about, you know, we got the fall coming up, but what should people be looking for on fish activity with patterns and when are they going to transition? Is it a water temperature threshold when it hits, you know, this number is when they're going to start doing this and that type of thing. And he had some really good insight on the crappie and, and the white bass and the catfish. So I was going to let him kind of share a little bit more about what you should be looking forward to as we near the end of August and head into September, I guess, starting with the crappie. Starting with the crappie, what they'll do, <clears throat> they're going to start uh, funneling into the banks, getting real shallow water. They're going to get in the brush piles, stake beds, uh, black hardwood trees. They really like that time of year. They hold heat. And they're just up there feeding up, so they're, <clears throat> they're going to sit there all fall. Um, five, six foot of water, three, four foot down, a lot of big fish going to be caught. Stake beds are probably my favorite that time of year, and uh, you don't just get one out of the stake bed, you'll get five or six fish, and you can leave it. And the, the cool thing is that time of year, it'll replenish really quick. So if you leave it alone for 30 minutes, they're going to pile right back in there. So shallow water crappie on the main lake flats get on a fence row go all the way to the bank turn around come out to about five feet of water and uh, you're gonna find a lot of crappie yeah now the white bass will start going they'll start getting a little more active here in the fall too won't they along with the hybrids yep we're gonna start seeing a lot of surface and activity these shattered real nuts